Okay, guys, we're going to talk about bonds today. We have a bunch of bond classes coming up. My favorite futures trade is absolutely trading the yield curve with bond futures. We believe the back end of the yield curve is going to continue to steepen, and those long end rates are going to start to go much higher because inflation is coming. So let me walk you through the chart that I put up in front of you. So what do we got? The white line is going to be high yield bonds. So this white line right here is high yield bonds. This red line down here is going to be 30 year bonds, which is treasury bonds. The safest place right now in the world to put your money. That's why interest rates are so low. So we're looking at high yield bonds, which is the white. We're looking at 30 year treasuries. And then finally, we're looking at the TLT. This could also be 30 year bond futures. Same thing. If you look at TLT against 30 year bond futures, you'll see they're 99% correlated. They're exactly the same thing. So we've got the high yield bonds, the 30 year treasuries, and the TLT. Okay, I cleaned up the chart a little bit. And so now what I did, going back to 2012, same time frame, we're just looking at the high yield bonds and we're looking at treasuries. Notice how they're coming together. High yield bonds, treasuries coming together. They've done that occasionally in the past. Now the high yield bond market for a little background, think of it like the VIX. Think of it when the high yield bond market pops, this is the SPX, the market's gonna sell off. So here, when it popped again in 2016, the market's gonna sell off because that's yields on risky companies going higher. They have a higher probability of defaulting. So HYBB goes down. As it goes down, the market goes straight up because there's less and less risk in the overall economy. Think of it if interest rates are going down on our riskier companies, that's a pretty good sign for how things are going. But again, high yield spiked. At the same time, the market sells off. Then we get the pandemic. Pandemic hits, high yield bond market shoots higher, market gets annihilated, but what happens? Market rallies, takes out highs, continues to rally, high yield bond market pulls back. So if I bring you back to the original chart, again, here's our TLT. Those are 30 year bond futures. The 30 year cash is barely recovered. Is, and, and, and as much as the Fed says they're gonna pin interest rates, guys, they're gonna pin the front end of the yield curve. They're not pinning interest rates in the back end. 20 years out, 30 years out. So what's happening is high yield bond market is coming back to you know whatever a better substance of value is. Right back to these levels. These levels, it was at back here, 2017, right? All this time. So someone could say this is kind of fairly valued going back you know, to 2014. Government bonds are now rallying as well. Will they rally to get back into this area here, closer to its mean going back to 2014? Eventually, they will. But what's really interesting to me and why we're holding bond classes coming up is because the TLT, the ZB, well, it's still here. And so if I do that, sorry, Mr. High Yield Bonds, and go like that, it was this level twice before, but this is back. This is coming back. This sure seems like it's got a long way to go and hasn't really reacted much during the overall market rally and during that high yield bond, just massive, massive sell-off. I think what's gonna happen is the long end of the yield curve is gonna get steeper. So that's gonna make those back-ended treasuries sell off and I think they're gonna sell off really hard. Hope you liked that, guys. Hope you learned. Remember, always be creative. Look at things from a different perspective. 
You'll be surprised what you find. My name is Jonathan Rose, owner, Masters in Trading.